Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, let's get back into it. So we talked to everybody on this deck. Now let's go down to the lower decks. Actually, no, let's go to the captain's quarters because I think I may have bought a fish. So let's go see if I bought a fish. What about you? I haven't talked to you. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I know exactly what you mean. You two would be such a cute couple. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? <laughs> Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? All right. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you. Alright, uh, unread messages. Normandy crash site data received. From Admiral Hackett, Commander Shepard, the Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found on the Normandy's crash site. We've sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. All right. Glad I didn't sign up. From John Whitson. Hey, Arya gave me this address. I think I met you at Afterlife at Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who were trying to take out Archangel. Man, I was so pissed off at you, I got blind drunk that night. And it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the news vids and saw that almost all those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are or if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been part of it. I'll make the most of with what you did for me. John Whitson. Glad you're turning your life around, kid. From Alliance Command. Commander, we got the data you sent. If this went public, it could do some serious damage to Cerberus's image. This intel will take years to decode, but having it, it was a huge win for the Alliance. Well done, Shepard. Good luck on your mission, Anderson. Cool. Uh, All right. Up to our captain's cabin. Do we have fishies? No, not yet. Got more model ships though. Very nice, very nice. All right, uh, cruise quarters. Let's go talk to Miranda and Garrus. See what you guys have to say. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Yeah, that's nice of them. They're still evil, though. How's the women's bathrooms holding up? Good? Good? Good. We got toilet paper and everything that we need. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. Huh. Poor guy. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. 
I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. So now you do want you to be Do you remember friends? when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Huh? Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus. Through my father's connections. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Huh. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Yeah. You're more than your body, okay? You're more than your mind. You are more than any one thing about you. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Sweet. All right. Yay, the gun batteries are open now. What's this area of the ship? The gunnery control station. The ship's batteries are controlled from here. The combat information center operators send targeting information here. The CIC decides who to shoot. Gunnery control decides how to shoot. Huh. Weapons destructor torpedoes. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Uh, yeah. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. That's good. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. 
We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Yay, justice. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. Huh. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. They didn't last long. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Oh. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. Should I'll be think here if you calibration need. boy. Get back to your calibrations. Alright, um... I guess, ooh, we can go down to engineering. Because we got those couplings for them. Oh, and there's a Susaid. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard.
cool. Do it again. I'm doing actual work. Zaid, this is your job. Why am I doing your job? Why do you have surveillance of the entire ship? A little paranoid, are we? Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a model of the Varacan. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. <laughs> Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. <laughs> I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Oh. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You know, I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Alright, fine. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillian Five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Play? Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion Five's a bit rusty. It'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. You won 500 credits playing the Skillion Five. Sweet! Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> I like you too. What can we do for you, Commander? Uh, we've already Carry asked. On. Well, do, Commander. Back to the CIC. Now let's go get the good doctor that's healing this no messages uh, epidemic. 
Doc. See here. What sort of appearances do you have, Garrus? I think I like the blue outfit more. I mean, that one is nice and all, I guess. Let's stick with the blue one for now, though. Let's see here. So yeah, let's bring Garrus and Zaid. Except, woo, level up, incinerate. Hundred fifty points. Hundred seventy. All right. Yeah, let's do this. Cool. Garrus. Turian Renegade, Turian Survivor. Turian Renegade. If it can be fired, Garrus knows how to use it. His weapon and power damage increases dramatically. Long hours alone against impossible odds have conditioned Garrus's health and kept his power sharp. Okay. I think better weapon damage. He's a renegade. Zaid? All right, you got nothing. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Yay. The Shepherd Memorial on Akuz is expected to open next year, once the area is declared safe for visitors. Admiral Stephen Hackett will preside. Alright, let's go into the apartments. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Is 
Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood. And... Well... Then I shoot you. It affects multiple species. Turians, Salarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. And Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races? Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. <laughs> A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. I don't know. Um, I really want to bring Garrus. I feel like... If this doctor is as good as he says, then he should be able to find a cure for the plague, right? He's like the doctor, super scientist, whatever. So he should be able to cure Garrus once we find him and do whatever he wants us to do. Uh, huh. Could just do Zaida Miranda. Let's just do Zaida Miranda. Sorry, Garrus. I'll come back for you. Seems like everything's gone to shit down here. Hello. Hello. 
It's got a nice little spot going here. All right. What's back here? Like the long way around. Oh man, I can't. I can't get back there. Son of a bitch. All right. Good luck in there. Blue suns and Borcher shooting anything that moves. Good. I'll shoot back. I see you, Shepard. Oh. Oh, shit. Ah. Hell of a shot. Take control of this most basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. Okay, need you. And you. And you. Go in there in a second. Gotta continue looting. Nice. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Oh, poor bastard. Kind of just want the plague to go away by any means necessary. Human should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human! <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies trip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> Your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Borcha. I need to find Morden Solus. 
Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't... Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near-perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <laughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees. Offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> huh. Sounds like an interesting doctor. You were talking about Vorcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take Vorcha. over the Vorcha? So Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it. I need to find he Morden. I was afraid to go to All him right. before. He is dead. When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, human. We've already been back here. That's where we came from. No. We need to go this way? Okay, we need to go this way. Firing an 
someone's home. Oh, thank God, you're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Alright. I'll be right there in a moment. Just wanted to loot your apartment real quick. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Sun's territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you. But it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. Huh. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now, trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure, a doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down, just like that, pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans, and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them, too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. He can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. 
We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorches, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. You should be right on my ass. Like, you should be around the corner for me. Wherever I am, as long as you're around the corner for me, then that's where you should be. I'll take that wall safe money as a proper donation for my services to keep you alive. This is so confusing. Am I going forwards or backwards? Going backwards. Oh yeah. Is there something up here? So it's just a shooting area. This might be useful. Salt rifle damage. Two shots left. Come on, bring in two more guys. Up oh, here we are. One. One more guy to shoot. Oh, there is somewhere. Oh shit. Two. Hell yeah. Give me ammo. Right there. We've crossed into Vorture territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. Huh. Of course you do. So what is in here? Find element zero. Alright, that's it. What is it here? Hey, hey, back off. We got here first. Oh, great. Scavengers. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? I do it Not all like the they time. Don't miss anything. We're just showing a little 
entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solus? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Voitcher. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I eh, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. <laughs> no way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. Oh, yeah? The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcher finish them off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see them go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. I don't believe you, but okay. So now where to? Here? Yeah? Yeah? Funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. I don't mind. I can deal with those mechs. Rearming. Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton. I don't need to choose my loadout. I do need to change my armor. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Don't worry, I dealt with them. Even though they're probably still gonna keep doing it. Morden saved my life. I owe him everything. Professor, we're running low on supplies. Use Melanorin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in Batarians. Supplement with Butemerol. Down there, maybe. Oh, got it. Senesine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers are hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not have a core? Do it. That's this.
Sup, doctor. Just here to collect your shit. Not here to talk to you at all. Just wanted to cause trouble in your clinic. Shoot me. Shoot me. Damn it. Professor Morden Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? Which one would interested him more? He's a doctor. But he also wants to discover the unknown. Because he's a doctor. This one's more charismatic, I feel like. The collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at environmental control center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That sounded troubling. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from dead blue sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling, district not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus, testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. I think so too. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans. Made threats. Killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. <laughs> Let's head for the environmental plant. M6 kind effects hand cannon acquired. The following squad members are now able to use this weapon. Nice. All right, let's go to the armory real quick. Yes, that. Sweet, 
Sweet. Alright you guys, well, I'm going to have to leave this episode here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I've been the loving Miss Scarlet Fox. Please be sure to like the video, comment all the comments, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.